So like they changed the sh in the in three make they changed the shit out of her outfit, but now she just looks like fucking Laura Croft. Yep, and it's kind of like, look, I don't. Okay, because the new designs they came up with for the cop for the outfits in Resident Evil Two are really good. I like Claire's new jacket. It looks like a biker jacket, and it's still evocative of the original costume. Leon looks like he's actually wearing a fucking police uniform. <laughs> you know, like, that. those were good updates. I don't really like Claire's new outfit. It doesn't feel like an update of her outfit in this. It just looks like generic action heroine outfit. But I can't complain because the pre-order DLC is the classic costume. So when I play 3 Make, I'm just going to have my Jill running around Hashtag in her tank top. My Jill Valentine. So a uh, new gameplay mechanic, just like the gunpowder that they added into this game, is uh, giant conspicuous red explosive barrels. In these tight hallways. Put in the code for the triangle titties. So... Freeman's mind is really funny. I really like this joke that uh, Ross makes in Freeman's mind where... Because uh, Half-Life 2 is just filled with fucking explosive barrels all over the fucking place. <laughs> where he goes like, Holy shit, these barrels explode? What is the fuel to fumes ratio? <laughs> how much... How many... How many few? It must be 50% fumes. And why are you just leaving them around? Yeah, so like, who the fuck is just leaving explosive barrels just laying around in the hall in the alleyways yeah just random of raccoon city that's very illegal in the book they try and justify and say that jill is intentionally sticking to the alleyways to avoid like the main streets because they've been completely fucking overrun with zombies and it's just packed wall to wall with like dead rising levels <laughs> of zombies so you can try and justify the way you treated me. <laughs> See? <laughs> that was a Prophet Marshall Mathers. <laughs> so you can try and justify the way you treated me, Ma! Now we're gonna get copyright strike. Oh no. So here's some uh, more gunpowder, uh, which I will show mm -hmm. one more time because we got gunpowder B, which you can mix in order to make Vigil. shotgun Turn. ammo. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I ate it, is that a problem? That. Uh, we won't need the here's the shitty thing the lighter is one of those items that never gets thrown out of your inventory so what you do with the lighter is you throw it in the fucking item box and then five hours later you come to something that's like oh you need the lighter it's like fuck you gotta burn the paper so if you combine gunpowder B with this cat is like losing it you get gunpowder C, and you mix gunpowder C, you get grenades. <laughs> That's how that works. You can just, you know, reload grenades. <laughs> <laughs> then we just hand load some grenades here. <laughs> yeah. With this reloading tool. With this press that you can't With carry around, With this hand around, press the and empty shells. It's way too heavy. In a, in a cloth in bag. In a duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just load some grenades. <laughs> I don't think you should DIY grenades. Um, don't tell me how to live my life. So that's the trade-off, is you can decide, I can make a lot of shitty ammo for smaller guns, or you can save up until you get a little bit more extra ammo for your bigger guns, such as the grenades. Acid rounds. Uh, also, so... We have gotten to the point where you are literally making ammo <laughs> in a Resident Evil game. Uh, we have completely just jettisoned. So this is an old PlayStation game where Triangle is cancel. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> we have completely jettisoned the survival horror. Like, people, like, you know, it's easy to point to Resident Evil 4 with its chainsaw-wielding mini-boss and its cabin section and say, survival horror is dead. I say survival horror was dead the instant I could mix <laughs> ammo to create ten grenades. grenades. 
20 minutes into the fucking game. I don't even have the grenade launcher yet. I have 10 grenades. That you made in that room. Water is gushing from a broken hydrant. So look at this. Holy shit. Look what we can do with water. technology. Although it is really funny because you can see the water is landing on top yeah. of the cone. Yeah. <laughs> Pre-rendered backgrounds, background. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so here's the RPD. Uh, remember the RPD? So uh, here's the thing you might not know if you don't pay attention. Uh, like it really I should be RCPD. <laughs> Is um, Resident Evil 2 takes place on September 29th, 1992. That's the year we were born. This game, as Jill's opening narration said is September 28th. So this game takes place one day before Resident Evil 2. I don't know if you remember the opening of Resident Evil 2, but this fucking police car was not here. <laughs> so I don't know who the fuck moved this. <laughs> when the zombies got together. And... In order for Leon to get to the station. <laughs> but anyway, are you ready for a glorious FMV? Deep pull. Get ready for it. A good moist fuck. Look at that sweater. They look like that. <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> like, where did you come from, sir? <laughs> no. Shot him through the face with his tentacle porn. Yeah, stars. <laughs> So, X gonna give it to ya. <laughs> <laughs> Nemesis drops in at like 10 minutes into the fucking game. So here's what we can do. We can either pussy out and run to the police station. This is timed, by the way. Or we can have a boss fight. <laughs> We're gonna have a boss fight. Why not? Whoop! Action roll. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dark Souls dodge. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this. Just use the fucking rocket launcher, dumbass. So Nemesis is hardcore. Uh, it is actually possible to beat this boss fight with Nemesis at this point in the game with the weapons you have up till this point, which is the handgun and shotgun. And ten grenades. <laughs> with no grenade launcher. <laughs> um, but yeah, the rocket launcher makes it really fucking easy. So, if you... Uh, there's like seven scripted boss battles with Nemesis... Uh, in this game, if you defeat the nemesis during those scripted scenes, because a lot of them are optional. Uh, as you just saw, there was a choice between running inside the police station or fighting the monster. If we ran inside the police station, that just, that fight, that boss fight just didn't happen. The only thing is, if you don't fight the nemesis, you don't, if you fight the nemesis, he drops shit. So, he just dropped... Eagle Parts A. So, and he'll just drop a bunch of extra shit, and we'll see that as we go through the game. But also, if you fight the Nemesis at this point, <clears throat> you can inspect Brad's body and take the card case, which will save us some time. I'm not going to take it. So, Jill can just assemble that weapon she's never <laughs> used before. She, she's going to be the next protagonist in the Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to put this together. <laughs> They don't teach how to do that as a cop. They teach how to do that as a soldier. <laughs> she a okay, so here's the thing. Jill, who is 21 <laughs> in Resident Evil 1. In 1991, I think. 1992, 1991? When did the fucking first game take place? <laughs> Jill is 21 years old. She was in Delta Force. <laughs> when? I defy you <laughs> to explain to me. That is canon. That isn't made up. That is canon. Jill was in Delta Force before she joined Stars. Like she, Stars recruited her from Delta Force. She was Force. in Delta Force before she could drink. Fuck you. <laughs> so this door or gamble. Uh, luckily, someone uh, comes around before tomorrow and rips these off so that <laughs> Leon and Claire can use that door. I hope. I really hope. I don't know why they bothered to board it up, because that door is electronically locked in Resident <laughs> Evil 2. 
So, uh, all you're doing is creating a fucking weird plot hole. <laughs> yeah, so the police station is literally just like five rooms. Because it's like, hey, you're in the police station. Ah. Hey, this isn't where the game takes place. <laughs> we swear. Um, so you need this. So if we had the stars card, we'd be able to open that up right now. Get... If we if we if we looted the shit out of Brad's body, we'd be able to just <laughs> open that up right now. But the we... stars card, which gives you reward points every time you buy gas. <laughs> also, uh, so here's the room where Leon's surprise party took place. Uh, I don't know. There, there's a, supposed to be a big birthday sign saying "Welcome first day, Leon." I don't know who took that down. Somebody took that down. Somebody took that down. That's close range. And then put it back up before <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> it was too early. I'll spoil the surprise. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird little things like that. Here's my favorite one, uh, which is hey, there's Marvin. Remember Marvin? Marvin. Remember not Will Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Joe's is gonna inspect here. It's RPD officer Marvin Bra. Nah, he's been fatally wounded by zombies. Oh, oh, but what's he got? This is my report. September twenty fourth. Oh, there was a theft. We're reporting that the fucking zombie outbreak had been fully <laughs> going on by this point. <laughs> There are reports that you find in Resident Evil 2 that's like, as early as like September 20th, shit was starting to go south. But a They were quarantined plot. off sections of the city. But fuck it, September 24th, four days into the zombie apocalypse, we gotta, we gotta really investigate what's going on with the fucking jewel thief. We gotta find this clock, my dude. Due to lack of available officers at this time. Due to the zombie, zombie outbreak. Oh, but the two days ago. <laughs> this situation did not degenerate within <laughs> two days. You saw the fucking barricade. <laughs> that didn't take two days to build. <laughs> I have discovered that you still give a shit about the missing gems. <laughs> Two days ago, since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced way. to suspend this case. Well, we'll get back. But we'll keep the gem as evidence. You know what I mean? You know what? I'll take this gem. It's part of an open investigation. I'll also that the evidence room. <laughs> wow, the fucking police station is being barricaded by this survivors. Into the evidence room. I have to break down the barrier that we uh, uh, built around. You that. know what? It's important to me. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. Well, can you be <laughs> non-fatally wounded by zombies? Jill just fucking leaves him there. Ah, yeah, uh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you, Will Smith. Fuck you, Marvin. You're an ah, that's asshole. Hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> you know what? Marvin is an asshole because he got bitten by zombies and then didn't kill himself. Who does that? Marvin. So here's the aforementioned... Uh, real Marvin. Here's the aforementioned... Uh, Stolen gem. You gotta combine that with the beer stein and you can sell it for a higher price. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if uh, Joe gives a shit about current ongoing investigations. <laughs> I think Shoot this is cop. randomized. Or it's just zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't know. I think all the uh, I think a few of the puzzle solutions in this game are randomized. <laughs> one of them, I, I think it's in or two or three or something. I was watching someone stream it, and they just went like boop 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 boop, and just <laughs> nailed it. And the look on their face, I'm like <laughs> they completely like not even intentional. No. Oh, it was shy. Or just like, boop 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 boop, just hit four random options, and you <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> you know, a lot of Resident Evil fucking puzzles are like that, actually. <laughs> I like how it takes Jill a second to just heft that thing up Even and down. Jill takes her. It takes her a little bit. She can one hand it, but it takes her a while. Of all people, oh, I think it's on. Well, you know, if, if the if the if this were better definition, you could see those Laura Croft muscles. <laughs> yeah, the the shadow of the Tomb Raider Laura Croft muscles. Yeah, it's looking good. You know? Yeah, that's what I like. Jill is definitely my favorite Resident Evil. Protag? Protagonist, yeah. Because, like, like Claire is also a very strong contender. Oh, that's a weird chance. 
Claire is also a very strong contender, but Jill's definitely my favorite because she's the most, like, she has always struck me as the most capable. As, like, the most, fuck you, I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> because, you know, like, until this, like, this was the game, really, that established that for me because it was like, this is Jill's game. Yeah. Resident Evil 1 is Jill and Chris, and, like, they kind of, like, you can... There's no, like, canon version of the Spencer Estate Mansion incident, but, like, they kind of took double duty on it. Yeah. Like, well, you kind of have like, to... It's a question of who do you play, Jill Yeah, and exactly. Because, like, the canon result of Resident Evil 1 is Barry and Rebecca survive. Yeah. A result that is literally impossible in all <laughs> three yeah. versions of Resident <laughs> Evil that exist. Yep. In the original Resident... Oh, uh, no, we don't, because, uh, there's nothing you can do uh -huh. with this fire. D you do game not need it. developer. Yeah. There is nothing, nothing interesting don't go here. Don't back. Don't look at this. Get the lighter. Don't go back and get the lighter. Leon needs to do that later. <laughs> Leon! <laughs> uh, yeah, like, the canon version that you kind of have to amalgamate in your head of Resident Evil 1 is like Jill and Chris both did it. Someone just took that down by tomorrow, by the way. You know. The liquors. <laughs> uh, Resident Evil 2 was Claire, Claire and Leon, and it's actually, like, you know, definitively shown that that was, like, their show. Uh, and they didn't even, like, really survive. Like, it's always said, like, the Raccoon City sur survived Raccoon City. Like, they were in Raccoon City, but they just kind of hung out in the fucking RPD. Nobody knew they were there. Yeah, like, they weren't... They didn't go through Raccoon City. No. They were just in a building that happened to be in Raccoon City. They never went... They drove through Raccoon yeah, City. Yeah, exactly. In in a bizarre plot hole that has never been explained. <laughs> of, uh, how the fuck... We're just gonna ditch the shit out of this for... 20 hours. You gotta put in the closed <laughs> eye. And, and, like, at this point, the city had been quarantined by the military. How the fuck did Claire and Leon get into this city? <laughs> well, you know. Gunpowder? Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, this game, Jill not only survives, like, she treks through the fuck out of Raccoon City. She, like, one-woman armies <laughs> throughout the entirety of Raccoon City. By herself. There is no alternate character in this game. It is all Jill's show. And she was fighting off the nemesis the entire time. So Jill is like the most action hero of the fucking... Of those original fucking four protagonists, I guess. <laughs> My sanity's at its end. Four itchy tasty. I was afraid. Terrified. Who fucking writes dot dot dot? <laughs> As well, a lot of people in the Resident Evil verse. So David's memo, uh, it's the twenty seventh. So yesterday, Marvin was writing a report about the jewel theft. <laughs> Marvin. As motherfucking David is sitting here nursing a shotgun next to his chin while slamming whiskey. <laughs> Marvin. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. I don't know what it is, but something about describing shooting someone with a shotgun as turning them into fertilizer. I feel like that's poorly translated. Makes me uneasy. <laughs> we lost 13 men as of yesterday. <laughs> as Marvin On the 26th, filing. as Marvin is filing a fucking stolen items report. <laughs> Marvin is a piece of shit. He's a good cop, though. Fuck, Fuck Marvin. What a fucking... <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit Marvin is. He's filing missing evidence reports while his clock friends are dying. He fucking doesn't kill himself. Becomes a zombie like an asshole. Who does that? Only Marvin. Oh, shoot. Oh. What were you doing up there? This door, even in Resident Evil 2, always confused the fuck out of me. 
Because, like, you don't see it from a good enough angle to see yeah. that there's supposed to be, like, a hole in the bottom. Yeah. And that's how Sherry gets away later. Uh, so the red gem isn't there. Someone just comes in and puts the two statues and a red gem in by tomorrow. <laughs> you know. I wonder how they're going to handle that. Because there are parts of the RPD in Resident Evil 2 make that are like... Oh, god damn it. <clears throat> of Resident Evil 2 make that are like, Oh shit, what happened here? Like the, the part where you're going through the shower feels like in in uh that's blocked off by steam feels like a moment where it's like oh shit did nemesis just bust through this part <laughs> nemesis the nemesis i forgot i have to go and unlock the fucking thing with the fucking stars with card the sharks the in fucking, the basement fucking idiot <laughs> the password is mole Password is Ada. <laughs> John, Ada. Wait. Ada, wait. Smack the table harder, Jill, like this. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of all the Resident Evil protagonists, of which there are four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jill is the default Resident Evil protagonist. Yeah, that's the thing. I, like, I was thinking about this because I, I, was, I was playing uh, Resident Evil 5 because I was thinking about... I want to do that too, because I've almost done all of them. Almost. I'm getting there. Yep. So far, I have done Remake, 2, 2 Make, 4, 6, mm -hmm. for some fucking reason. For some fucking reason. Um, oop, and, that's and, it. And uh, I did a video on 7. 7 would be really oh, yeah, easy to do a video on, though. So once again, not once again to you. Uh, audience, <laughs> but once again, Nick. Yes, me. We have Umbrellas bizarre ass user <laughs> yes. OS. Yeah, their interface. Um user Umbrellas interface. operating system, yep. which we will see Umbrella even more 95. in every fucking Resident yeah. Evil game. Yep. We have file editing mode. What is uh, editing? What the fuck is editing? <laughs> yeah, why is it editing? Why, why is, is it, it editing? Jared? Why is it mode? <laughs> Image, filter, selection. I can see. This yeah. is a U. The, this is a Unix system. I know this. Window, and then we have system, which looks like the Monster Energy logo. Yeah, exactly. Test, which is just a close up of a zombie. And like test, and he's <laughs> trying to make a JPEG. Or Someone has a file open, 1990X, which looks like just a picture of a lab, and then yeah. in the back, some Someone's kind of weird playing clock a CD. with like. <laughs> Remember when they added CD on? Player in Windows 95 and it was a big deal? Oh my god. 4312. 4312. 4312, okay. <clears throat> Does everyone in Raccoon City have to use Umbrella's <laughs> operating it's, it's system? It's a monopoly, you have to. They're not just a pharmaceutical company. Everyone <laughs> has to use... You know what? Umbrella probably didn't even make their fucking OS. They no. probably fucking, like, yeah, bought it from a, from a software engineering firm. And <laughs> In this just... universe, Steve Jobs was killed by Umbrella. <laughs> there is some kind of, like, contract. <laughs> ah, fuck! Oh, thank God. <laughs> My short-term memory is so I was gonna, awful. I was like, wondering what you were mad about. I literally couldn't remember. <laughs> I mean, it's patently untrue because I got it right, but... <laughs> but literally. Oh, God, it's so nice that I was able to yell fuck at the top of my lungs. Yes, at... Uh, what time is it? <laughs> at uh, 12, actually 12 in the morning. 12 in the morning. Actually 12 in the we morning. We own a house, Actually, bitch. almost... Yeah, 12.30. Own a house, bitch. Man, owning a house is great. It's much better than anything that is not it. Weirdest way to say <laughs> that. It, the, the benefits of owning a house, I would say, definitely outweigh the many, many, many drawbacks. Yes, for example, yesterday, uh, 
three hundred dollars disappeared because we needed to pay our sewer bill for the year, <laughs> which we did not when we had an apartment. But yeah. that being said, it's fine. That's for the whole year. Look, running water is a really nice thing to spend three hundred dollars on for I don't a year. Like my poop sticking around, so whatever they want to charge us is fine. So, <laughs> no, let's talk about it more. We will take the lock pick, which in this game it is. <laughs> Is it a busted safety pin? Yeah, first pin? of all, that is a safety pin <laughs> and a paper clip. That is a safety pin and a paper clip. <laughs> yeah, that's not a lockpick. Truly the master of unlocking. And, and also, I mean, what, what does it matter what her father <laughs> did? You could just, like, if you lockpick yeah, enough, you can you'll learn become how good. to lockpick. Yeah, it's, it's not, pretty easy. It doesn't require a backstory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe the fact that she can lockpick with a broken safety pin, <laughs> yeah. but whatever. Yeah. Um, disgustingly, outrageously, it takes up an inventory oh, space. Oh, that's shitty. That is just vile. Isn't there an already game where the knife doesn't take up a... Yeah, Resident Evil 4. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And yeah, then right. the, the DS re-release of Resident <laughs> Evil 1. Parse that. The You know what it's called? Resident Evil... Deadly Silence. Oh. <laughs> Resident Evil DS. Deadly Silence. Oh. Which is genuinely the best version of Resident <laughs> Evil 1 you can ever play. Is the DS version. It is so fucking good. We're gonna I'm gonna get to it. I'm cause I cause remake and Resident Evil 1 are completely different games. And like Resident Evil 2 make does not replace <laughs> Resident Evil 2, in my mind. Yes. I still feel like you should play both. You should play Resident Evil 2 and also Resident Evil 2 Remake. Resident Evil 1, people say you can skip that and just play Remake. I think Resident Evil 1 is still worth playing if you play the DS re-release <laughs> of Resident Evil 1. Because every other version of Resident Evil 1 is hot garbage. <laughs> so, if you remember in Resident Evil 2, there was a picture on Jill's desk that was, oh, maybe this is her boyfriend. <laughs> that is not in this game. That's conspicuously absent. So, uh, that picture that you can see, right there, <laughs> uh, of a picture... Who is that? Jill would know, but who is it? Who is that, Jill? Who is it? Uh, and then in Resident Evil 2 make, they change it to a picture of a dog. <laughs> Dog.jpg. Just fu the, the evolution of <laughs> Jill's picture of a boyfriend. I mean, like, Leon and Claire don't know. They're just assuming. There's no reason, like, they don't know. Yeah, they just it's a picture of a guy. How much fucking ammo did Barry have at his desk? Because oh, Jill, Barry. Jill takes ammo, and then Claire and Leon <laughs> both also take ammo. Jill, I have this magnum. It's the desk of Wesker. Uh, there's no uh, Rebecca picture, so uh, don't oh, look Becky, for it. Becky, can you fucking the picture of stars? I hate this picture. <laughs> who the goes in front of a green screen? Who the Fuck is the guy on the left? <laughs> the far left, who is that? That guy kneeling in front of him has a mortar! <laughs> he has a mortar! <laughs> it's an artillery baffle. So I can actually name most of these people. So that's Brad on the right, Barry, Pansy Pussy Ass Brad, Joseph, Jill, Chris, uh, Enrico. Uh, Enrico, Wesker, I'm pointing, I don't know why I'm doing that, uh, Forrest, Kevin, I don't, the, like, who the fuck, <laughs> who's Mortar Man? Who the fuck is the guy with the mortar? <laughs> Rebecca isn't in this picture! I didn't know stars needed those. Rebecca is not in this picture, <laughs> but a guy, but fucking creepazoid skull face over there and mortar dude. I don't know, I guess the guy in the middle standing in between Wesker and Kevin. Max Headroom there. Is uh, fucking the pilot for Bravo Team. But I don't know who the fuck those two on the left are. It's not are. Kenneth from Star's Bravo Team anymore. Kenneth, I'm sorry. Not Kevin. 
Kenneth. You're right. <laughs> I like how Forrest is pointing his fucking <laughs> grenade launcher <laughs> right at Kenneth's fucking head. <laughs> right by at the his way. face. I That's need, how he died. I need to look this up real quick. Just real <laughs> fucking not quick. Kenneth from Stars Bravo team anymore, bitch. He's dead. Stars members. Because fucking Kevin Ke- Kenneth Kevin Dooley or something. Tom Dooley. Kingston Trio. Oh my god. Hmm. I saw them live. <laughs> not the originals, obviously. They're they're dead, I think. Then that that was funny where they pointed out like, we're not the original Kingston Trio. It's fine. I think they formed in like the thirties, so yeah. Richard! Oh, yeah. It's Richard. Oh, I feel bad. Richard! Poor Richard, I forgot. I totally forgot. That's Richard. Okay. Ricky Cheese. Okay, so we got Bradbury, Wesker, Richard, Kenneth, Forrest, Joseph, Jill, Chris, and Rico, and then those two fuckers on the left. <laughs> I don't know who those fuckers are. Mortared guy and skull man. And thigh holster. The wiki does not know who they are. <laughs> There's Edward du- Dewey. There's Edward, who was literally made the fuck up. <laughs> well, I mean... I guess all of them were made up. <laughs> <laughs> who the f- I guess maybe the guy with the mortar can be Edward. <laughs> who the fuck is that guy? Rebecca? <laughs> Before the operation? Before the operation, that was Rebecca. Jesus Christ, that picture just bothers me so fucking much. <laughs> and it's like a field trip. 